Hey there everybody, it's Nathan Cool with NathanCoolPhoto.com and over the last year since the pandemic there's been two primary requests that I've gotten from a lot of subscribers to my channel and also from clients and I wanted to share those with you and some steps I'm taking to help you ramp up on those skills. So you know from last year I came out with a lot of stuff on virtual tours on how to do them with DSLRs, how to do them with just about any type of portable camera and while that was very popular something else kind of arose out of the ashes and that was for video tours and it's a, something that you probably already have a lot of gear on hand ready to do with just a few ma uh, minor things that you might also need so there's a couple things I'm going to be doing to help you ramp up on that this is something that's really been flooding me lately with a lot of requests and a lot of people uh, think that this is something very complicated and for some of the real high-end stuff yes but predominantly for the standard MLS type of shoots. Basic videography works very well. They're looking for something that's smooth, something that looks professional, and that there is some forgiveness in quality to it, but you can get something very good with probably, like I said, a lot of gear that you have. So a couple things real quick that I'm gonna be doing. One, I did come out with an eighth book, which is basic videography for real estate. I've got a link to that in the description for this video, so you can download the ebook right now and just get started on that. This is for basic videography. It's to get you started with predominantly a lot of the work that's being requested right now, at least for me, a lot of also the subscribers uh, that have been uh, asking a lot of questions on this. So it will get you started with minimal cost and then of course minimal effort to start ramping up and providing that yourself. If you've thought about outsourcing the video because it was too complicated, not really for a lot of this stuff. If you've been doing real estate photography, you already have a lot of the skills necessary to do video. A few different changes, stuff that's not all that complicated, and I'll help you ramp up on that. Also, I've got more videos coming down the pike, and there's one right now in particular that I've also got a link to in the description for this video, and that's on the movements that you can use while you're videoing. So we're used to doing, if you're doing real estate photography, we're so used to, here's the shot list. Like, you know, I've got the book on shot list. I've talked about this before. I talk about different compositions throughout my videos and books and whatnot. But what do you do when you have to put the motion into it? What do you do with video? So there are some things to concentrate on. I talk about that in the book, but this video down there on the cinematic movements for doing basic uh, real estate videography is that a lot of those can be used in different places. Things about like not just panning across a room, but doing things like a pedestal, doing dolly, doing truck, different stuff that may be new terms to you, but they're simple once you see them. So anybody has got a video to that as well. Got more videos coming down the pike as I get more requests and to be sharing this. And once again, you can download right now the ebook on basic videography for real estate, how to turn motion into money. I've got a link to that in the description for this video as well. Anyways, thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can to this YouTube channel. It won't cost anything. And as soon as one of my videos is posted with the various tips and tricks and tutorials, you'll be the first to know. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, and get out there and shoot something.